Hey guys, welcome to Megan's Wreath Boutique. Thank you for clicking on this video to learn how to do this pancake method wreath. Um, the first thing we're going to be starting off with is I'm going to be cutting 10 inch deco mesh into 20 inch strips. And for this specific wreath, I am using three different colors. Um, you can just use one color or two colors, whatever you prefer for your deco mesh. Just make sure you're cutting enough strips to completely cover your wreath form. Okay, I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me cut all of these pieces of deco mesh. So let's skip on to the next step. Okay, so the next step we're going to work on is adding our deco mesh to our wreath form. So what you're going to want to do is grab one of the strips and start rolling it in on one side. Roll it in just to make like a circle or a circle and a half and then scrunch it down the middle until you get to the other end and roll that end in as well. And then it's going to give you kind of a flatter look for your deco mesh and we're going to start with the outer ring and all you're going to do is just twist it on to your wreath form and we're going to add the deco mesh all the way around the outside of the ring and then we're going to stop there before adding the deco mesh on to the inner ring One thing I forgot to mention is once you have your deco mesh rolled and scrunched up, you flip it over and you put the side that you rolled and scrunched on the bottom. Okay, now that you have all of your deco mesh added to the outer ring, you're going to want to add your ribbon. And how I cut my ribbon is in 14 inch strips. And I usually do two per section. And what I like to do is just scrunch it right down the middle and then take that portion that I scrunched and add that right to the Chanel stems and you're going to want to snip off the excess part of the chanel stem and i kind of like twist it and hide it underneath the ribbon just so it's not sticking up um, and showing through on my wreath and just play with your ribbon a little bit and position it the way you like it and once you have it where you like it just move on to the next section Okay, so again, we're going to add the ribbon to the outer ring where we've already placed the deco mesh. Once we've added it to every section that has deco mesh, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay guys, the next step is you're gonna do the same exact thing that we did for the first string. We're gonna add the deco mesh by um, curling in the ends and scrunching down the middle and just go ahead and add those to the inner ring.
Okay, again, just like with the deco mesh, we're gonna take the ribbon just like we did for the outer ring. We're gonna fold it in half, scrunch it down the middle, middle and add it straight to the wreath form and go all the way around the inner ring and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is add a bow, if that's something you're adding, a sign, and any bigger accent pieces, like here I have the little gnome that I'm adding. And how I add these pieces is I just put um, Chanel stems on them. I usually hot glue to the accent pieces and to the sign. Sometimes my husband will drill a hole for me in the sign and I'll just run a Chanel stem through the sign and that's the way I attach it to the wreath. Um, and here I am just dovetailing the bow. I do have a tutorial on how I do my bows. I will link that in the description below if that's something interests or something that interests you and you would like to see a tutorial on how I make my bows um, be sure to check that out and um, if you've made it this far in the video thank you for watching uh, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and if you would do me a favor and like this video it sure would mean a lot thank you so much Alright, here's the finished product. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. I would love your input and please watch out for more tutorials. Thank you again so much for watching.